What's up Brozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another FNAF book video. Now today we're talking once again about Tales from the Pizzaplex and I love the sound of this book series. Fazbear Frights went in a great direction. I think as a whole that book series was amazing as I've said many times before. I think it's one of the best things that's come out of the FNAF franchise and I'm really excited and really hopeful for Tales from the Pizzaplex, especially with the covers that we're getting and all of the information we're getting about it. Uh, it's sounding very similar to the Fazbear Frights and um, hopefully it will be better. Now I actually made a video yesterday uh, talking about the second story in the first book uh, which is Lally's Game and it's called, uh, what's it called? Frailty. Yeah, Frailty. Um, and we talked a little bit about that, and I didn't know that there was going to be news today as well. So um, today I'm going to be doing two different videos actually, because we have the descriptions of both Haps and uh, Somnophobia. But today we're going to be going through Haps in this video, and then um, you'll see another video in the very near future, in like a few minutes or maybe an hour or so, <laughs> about Somnophobia. Um, so let's get straight into Haps. So this is the cover as you have seen before, but here is the description which we haven't seen before. So, um, synopsis, Five Nights at Freddy's fans won't want to miss the collection of three chilling stories that will haunt even the bravest FNAF player. We've seen that sort of description before. Then it goes into, have you ever wanted something badly even though you shouldn't? Many times. Steve's dream of a video game programming career and starting a family led him to take a job that seems too good to be true. Okay, let's talk about that. It could be some sort of FNAF VR kind of story again, but that's kind of weird because this is supposed to be Tales from the Pizzaplex. <laughs> so I'm not sure about that. Um, video game programming, it could be to do with the arcades. Oh, this is this is the story Haps. So the first story is always the cover story. So this story is called Haps. So it's going to have something to do with this animatronic. Um, I'm not too sure about that. And it says, and starting a family. Like, what does that have to do with the story? I'm not too sure. Um, we haven't heard of a Steve before in the Fazbear Fright series or Five Nights at Freddy's in general. Um, yeah, this is this is strange. It seems too good to be true. It probably is too good to be true. There's obviously maybe with we've talked about Haps before and how it's kind of like a parallel to Sun and Moon, where you've got two sides of Haps. We don't know if this is actually what the animatronic looks like or if this is like two time periods it's showing but it's clear that like Haps is kind of like all right in one sense but kind of cursed and corrupted in the other sense um and so there's a there's a massive theme of duality there and i don't know where that's going to come in in terms of Steve? <laughs> like, where, what happens with Steve? Maybe Steve as a video game programmer programs. I don't know. I, I feel like it could be another in the flesh kind of story, which I would want. <laughs> um, actually, I don't want to wish for that because I need to be careful what I wish for. Um, I don't know if it's going to be like that, though. I don't know if it's going to be like VR based that's that because that, that's something weird in this right it's it's like the video game programming part of it where does that come in in terms of security breach I'm not too sure could be to do with uh like Eclipse in the balloon boy world game not too sure about that I have a feeling it could be to do with a video game or an arcade machine in the pizzaplex that goes corrupted or something like that something along those lines I think um but yeah, I'm, what do you guys think about that? Because I'm not too sure personally. I don't think the the description really matches the cover at all. So it's kind of hard to predict what's going to happen in that. Let's move on to the next one. Aiden and Jace can't resist scaring some young kids in the tube maze of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex. Well, that's just a horrible move. <laughs> what? How? Are these teenagers or are they adults? Or are they kids? 
Aiden and Jace can't resist scaring some young kids. Why not? <laughs> That's just a horrible thing to do in general. Okay, well, okay. I don't know. What, really, what is there to predict here? What am I supposed to talk about? Scaring some young kids in the tube maze of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. So that reminds me of the story Fine Player 2, kind of. Uh, if you've read that story, it's about the, um, the, the hiding maze, isn't it? I think it's called the hiding maze. I don't know. I don't remember. But it's, it's similar to that. A tube maze. Can't resist scaring some young... Well, obviously, that's going to backfire, right? It's it's obviously going to be, like, a scaring young kids and then a curse has been put upon them, or... I don't really know. And, and the big part of this is there's kind of two protagonists in this story. Well, I wouldn't call them protagonists, but, like, two people who we follow, Aiden and Jace. It's a little bit like Jessica and Brittany from Together Forever, we have two kind of protagonists that we're following. It's possible we get another story where two people are uh, kind of beaten up for their actions, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So um, that has a lot of potential, I think. The fact that there's two people, uh, are they related in some way? Are they friends? Are they bullies like in FNAF 4? You know, th th these are all questions that we're gonna have to, to ask. Um, because I'm really not sure. Like, I'm not sure about any of this, of course. Um, but I've, I, <laughs> in the corner of my eye, I just read the last line of this paragraph and I might scream. <laughs> Let's read it, come on. The third story is, and all Billy wants is to become the perfect ideal of what he know. <coughs> oh God. Let's start that again. I coughed in between. I still have COVID. And all Billy wants is to become the perfect ideal of what he knows he really is. An animatronic. Do I really have to say it? Gregory bot. Yeah, we've all been saying Gregory's a robot, but I... <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is confirmation of it. I'm pretty sure it's confirmation of it. I reckon... Um, Scott was like, you know what, let's put this story in just in case, just in case when Security Breach comes out, people don't actually find the clues that Gregory is a robot. So yeah, as much as we all hate it, um, I, I do think that Gregory is a robot. I do think that Matt Pat was right, uh, again, unfortunately. But, um, it, I don't know, it could tell us more about that. Again, I really feel like it was Scott's way of, of like having safety around himself just in case people didn't understand that Gregory could be a robot. Um, it's kind of brought that more to light just in case. Um, and all Billy wants is to become the perfect ideal of what he knows he really is, an animatronic. That's weird to me. That's really weird. And something that I've always thought about and would be a really good horror story is like someone who thinks that they're human, but they're, they're just a, a robot. Like, imagine me being a robot and I, I don't know, look in the mirror one day and I realize that I have like red dots flashing in my eyes or something and I realize that I am a robot. I've been a robot all along. That's like a really scary thought and I really hope it goes down that kind of, that kind of black mirror path um, where it's like the evolution of technology and um, oh god, that, that would be so scary. It kind of parallels, like, Charlie's adventures in, uh, in the Silver Eyes trilogy, kind of in the fourth closet especially. I really like that idea, and I really like that they're bringing this kind of, um, robot idea to life. Uh, and I'm really excited for this book, in general. I think this is... I'm more excited for this than Lally's game, mainly because of that last story. Um, I always felt like in the Fazbear Frights, the first story was alright, but not the best. The second story was always the gory story, and the third story was the banger. You know, it was it was really always a really good story. Um, and I think we're gonna get the same here. Honestly, I really do think so. 
Now that's pretty much all I have to say for this. I do want to get your opinions down below. The other thing I do want to quickly mention is that it is confirmed that we will have epilogues in these books. So in the first set of books we had the Stitch Wraith Stingers, but now we're going to have a new series of epilogues, we're going to have a series of stories at the end of each of these books that go hand in hand and they're going to tell the story of something bigger and I'm hoping that it's going to be maybe about patient 46 if it's a new character possibly exploring Vanny um, something to do with Afton or the continuation after security breach maybe something to do with the DLC when the DLC kind of gets um, told about more uh, when we hear more about that um, but are we gonna see past characters I don't think so I mean in terms of the stitch wraith I think detective Larson's um, story is kind of done I think the whole stitch wraith arc is is finished um, we could get some more info about Afton I really do think Afton will come back in these epilogues just like he did in the fast bear frights unexpectedly uh, I remember we basically all screamed when, uh, what was it, Blackbird came out, or was it The Cliffs, and we all realised that uh, Afton was actually in the Fast Bear Fights. Um, but yeah, it's it's really it's really cool to hear that there's going to be more of what we were getting in Fast Bear Fights in Tales from the Pizza Plex, and I'm so excited for this series. So let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited as well? Um, make sure that you like, comment and subscribe uh, for more content like this. As I said, there is another video on the way uh, about Somnophobia's description, so uh, stay tuned for that. And I will see you later, but I've been Ozone, I have to go Ozone. Goodbye. <laughs>